Yo, what is happening? My name is Abdin and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a pink snowmobile in Lumber Tycoon 2. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so to start, you're going to need at least one snowmobile spawner. Uh, if you have more, then it is definitely a whole lot better. So I'm going to show you how to get it both with just one spawner and a whole bunch of them. And by the way, guys, if you didn't know, the snowmobile comes out of the Gift of Snow, which is a 2022 gift item. So if you want to get this, you're going to have to buy it from other players. Or as of right now, you can still buy it from the stores, but not for very long. So go ahead and get that if you are still able to do so But anyways with only one spawner You're just going to want to put your cursor on the spawn pad button And then you're just going to want to spawn it in and this will cost you four hundred and sixty dollars each time So it will get a little bit pricey You might be able to get it for just four hundred and sixty dollars Which would mean that you would have gotten it first try But some people are less lucky and they get it after like a hundred thousand dollars spent it just depends on your luck so you can see that after I spawn in the snowmobile I flick my cursor over to a different place and what this basically does is it makes it so that I have to actually think to be able to put my cursor back onto the button and respawn it which means that if I do spawn a pink snowmobile I'll have more time to realize it and to stop respawning it because as soon as you respawn it it'll obviously respawn and you'll lose your pink snowmobile so be a little bit careful take your time you don't don't want to rush this because if you do there's a pretty good chance that you'll just skip right over a pink snowmobile so I would definitely recommend doing this flicking trick it has worked pretty well for me at least just make sure that you don't zone out while you're doing it because then you'll probably end up respawning it without even thinking but without flicking it that is all too much easier to do so I would definitely recommend flicking your cursor over to a different spot every single time you respawn it now if you're doing this on mobile or console, it might be a little bit more tricky to flick your cursor, so I would recommend just taking your time, taking it slow, and trying to avoid zoning out and just doing this automatically without thinking, so yeah. But I think that flicking your cursor on mobile or on console would just take too much time, so yeah, I don't know. I think in that case, the best way to do it is just to take it really, really slow, take your time, and to not get impatient. Getting a pink snowmobile is just something that you can't rush, otherwise you'll inevitably respawn it on accident when it's pink, and that is just so, so painful. So that's how you do it with one snowmobile, but you can probably tell that this is pretty slow. So if you have more snowmobile spawners, I would definitely recommend using them as well. So how you do that is you're going to want to place them all next to each other like this. It's not super important that they're in a line, but it just makes it a little bit easier to tell what you're doing and then once you have placed them down you're just going to want to wire them all up to a single button and by the way there isn't really a set number of spawners that you should use just place down as many as you're willing to place down you don't want to open all of your gifts obviously because they're probably worth more as a gift but I'm willing to guess that there's probably some that you have that you're willing to at least place down Especially considering that pink snowmobiles are going for like millions right now. It is insane. So definitely get on this. You're going to want to sell pink snowmobiles because you can get pretty rich doing that. So just wire up all of the buttons of your snowmobile spawner pads like so. You're going to want to make sure that they're all connected in one continuous chain of wires. Each of the spawn pad buttons making contact with the end caps of a wire. Once again, using the same flicking trick, but this time on the button itself. And you should see all of the snowmobiles respawning, and if you can't, then that probably means that you wired it up incorrectly. So make sure that it's correct. So yeah, you're just going to want to press the button and then flick your cursor and then repeat. And if you're on mobile or on console, then you just want to take this really, really slow. Maybe physically move your finger away from the button. I don't know, just find some way to make sure that your mind isn't going to go on autopilot and start pressing the button automatically with without thinking. So yeah, you're just going to want to keep pressing the button and you can actually get a pink snowmobile really, really fast doing it this way. Especially if you have a lot of spawn pads, this can go really, really fast. 
but again it all depends on your luck it can go really really fast it can go really really slow it can cost you millions or it can cost you a thousand lumber bucks so once again it all depends on luck so yeah, I actually got a pink snowmobile really, really fast. It took me like a minute and a half, so yeah, that was really, really fast. So once you do get a pink snowmobile, you're going to want to take the spawner that it spawned on, and you're going to want to move it or destroy it. If you can't afford it, then I would recommend destroying it or moving it to someone else's base. If you want to sell it, then make sure you go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you don't touch the spawner until you have completely sold it, and the snowmobile is outside of the server because guys it does not matter whose snowmobile it is it remembers which spawn pad it spawned on so yeah you want to be careful about that just make sure that you're careful with the spawn pad even if it's saved on someone else's base there is a pretty good chance that when you respawn it it will respawn and if you sold it then that means that the other person is probably gonna think you're a scammer and it'll be a whole headache so just try to avoid that but yeah guys I just replaced the spawner that the pink snowmobile spawned on real fast and you guys can just keep spawning more and more pink snowmobiles it's really really cool how fast you can do this by the way guys a reminder if you want to trade this thing you don't actually want to have the person that is receiving the snowmobile reload you're going to want to reload and make sure that you're actually whitelisting the person you're going to want to have save items to base at least checked uh, you don't need all you just need the save items to base and then you want to reload yourself because it won't really save if you have the other person reload but yeah, be careful about the spawners. I actually myself respawned a snowmobile on accident. That happens all too often. So yeah, be careful. I would recommend if you want to keep it on your base until you sell it, hiding it just under some structures or something just so that other people on your base don't respawn it. Or if you forget about it, you might accidentally respawn it like I did. It's very easy to forget to not respawn the snowmobile. So just be very, very careful. You might trust yourself enough not not to accidentally respawn it but I personally surprise myself all the time by how clumsy I am maybe that's just a me issue but anyways that is pretty much it for this video hopefully it has helped you get a pink snowmobile and hopefully to get very very rich right now these are a very hot demand item so you're definitely going to want to get a few of them and sell them if you're watching this video as it comes out but the hype will kind of die down a little bit over time so I would recommend getting on top of this as soon as possible so that you can get super super rich guys you want to take advantage of the hype and the demand around the new pink snowmobile people want it and you guys now know how to get it but anyways that is pretty much it for this video make sure that you join my discord to get access to free vip servers giveaways and of course you can trade the new pink snowmobile in the trading channel which is pretty awesome but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video once it's out see ya